Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today we have our second video in our series highlighting female artists and creators in the Baby Yoda community. And today I have an artist who does Grogu art dolls, so stay tuned. And hey, if you find that you like our videos and you want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad. Hi, everybody. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. I am having a blast doing these female artist and creator videos, and I hope you guys are enjoying them too. I know this is only the second one, but I'm filming a bunch of them today, and I can't wait for you guys to see each and every one. But today we are highlighting an artist that I came across on Facebook and then found her Etsy shop, and when I put the word out that I was looking for female artists and creators, she actually came to me and said that, hey, I'd love to be included and then as we got talking she decided she wanted to send me a custom doll so I haven't seen it yet it is here I, I'm so excited I'm going to open the box you guys are gonna get my genuine reaction to it so yeah can't wait so a little bit about the artist her name is kitten or kitty and some of you may know her as bright eyes or bright eyes by kitty G she is a painter she does clay sculptures she she does reborning and she does upcycling with her art and she recently within the last year got into doing the Grogu art dolls. She's been painting since she was six years old and has been doing art dolls for about two years now but just about a year for the Grogu dolls. Now Kitty said that she loves art and she loves making art. It makes her feel good. And she started doing the reborning and the dolls and the repainting because she wanted to get away from just her canvas paintings and do something a little bit different. She also likes to make people feel good by giving them gifts. So uh, I love people with a big heart. That is so, so very awesome. And another thing about her, guys, is she owns an animal sanctuary. I love that. Helping out animals that have possibly been abandoned or our special needs and giving them a good home and a great life ah that just ah, I love it guys kitty that just totally totally rocks now what type of Grogu art dolls does she do guys well these are different from anything that I've seen out there and they are really really cool Kitty constructs her repaints based on inspiration and culture plays a huge part in that she is actually part yuppic which is native Alaskan which hey that's really cool guys because when you see her dolls you will totally understand the inspiration behind the outfits on her dolls are based on what's called a cospoke and that's a hooded over shirt with a large front pocket here take a look at a couple of examples of her work guys So how killer are those? They are just, again, totally unique from a lot of the other things that are out there. So Fisher, we've got the box here, so I'm going to have to set you to the side so I can open up your new sibling. Are you good with that? I'm good with that. All right, little dude. Boop. We will see you in a little bit. So here's the box, guys. I'm so excited. I love, she wrote little notes around the whole outside, so you have to see each side of this box. We've got hug as soon as opened, baby on board, feed as soon as possible, and uh-oh, proceed with caution. Oh, uh, now I have a feeling that the baby that is in here is going to be just totally adorable and lovable and nothing to be cautious about. So yeah, let's do it guys. Let's take the baby out of the box. All right, so got it open. It is in here. It looks like it's packed really, really well. Oh, there is a note with it. Oh, and some stickers. Oh, I love notes and stickers. And guys, this is her business card, and it has one of her animals on the front of it. 
How super adorable is that? So let me read the note for you real quick, guys. It says, thank you so much for doing a shout out of our small business and animal sanctuary here at Bright Eyes. We truly love that our children have brought so many amazing people together and so many wonderful opportunities along the way. I normally name my Grogu's, but I feel that you will come up with something special, something one of a kind, so I will leave that up to you. However, her story stems from pure imagination. She is everything art and inspiration, since that is what we promote. Your little Yoda wears the cospoke design of our native culture, but embellished by handmade beadwork and colors. I had hoped her design, her, oh, it's a girl. I had hoped her design and colors would bring some spring cheer. She is curious and magical. I was truly torn by color choices, so I asked a few peers who then asked strangers in passing, and it all narrowed down to this and I couldn't be more pleased as I feel she is who or what your inner child would resonate to be on the surface. Ah, I love this. One last note. We send our children with toys to play with and being we are the state known for our minerals, ooh, I felt it fitting to send you a tumbled agate. Oh, God, I love stones. Guys, I think I found, you know, one of my soulmates. Not love soulmate, but Kitty, you are totally awesome, and we have a lot of things alike. So, yeah, I can't wait to get to know you more. But we thank you again for your love and support. This is the way. Bright eyes. And P.S., they now have a YouTube channel, so I'll have to get that link and put that in the description of the video for you guys. But yeah, let's do it. Let's get her out of the box! <laughs> oh my god, guys. <sighs> Wait till you see her. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, you are... Oh, guys, I'm in love. Are you ready? Look at how beautiful she is. Oh, I love it. She is, oh, I, I, I don't have enough to say. Oh, her fingernails are painted, guys. Look, oh, I love the colors. She is like a little 80s child with all of these bright neon colors. And yeah, you, you nailed it. This, this is my inner child right here. Totally, totally. Uh, I love her hair. She is just so precious. She's got purple eyeliner, purple drawing. She's got glitter, eyelashes. She is amazing. I love the beadwork on her. She comes with her own little necklace. Uh, and she has her original robe on, guys. And they've just kind of embellished the original robe which I think is just totally awesome. She's got this little green and black fur instead of the Sherpa that matches her hair. Or is it a hat? It's hair. To me, it's hair because she is my 80s child. I'm trying to think of a name for her, guys, as we're kind of sitting here looking at her. Nothing has popped up for me yet, but you know me, guys. Something will hit me and she will tell me her name and it will be totally, totally rad. Now, in her note, Kitty mentioned that they do come with a toy and she should have a tumbled agate here. So let's open this up and see your toy, sweetheart. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to give you big hugs as soon as I got you out. There's your big hug because I do. I am totally in love with you. You are totally rad. <laughs> and here is her toy, her agate. That is really, really pretty. I, I like to collect stones from different places that I visit. So yeah, having this stone is just really, really cool. I've never been to your state. So yeah, it's nice to have a piece of that state now here in my home. But what do you think of it, little girl? Yeah, you like it? I, uh, she's so precious, I can't stand it. <laughs> she is done so well. Oh, she's got little, as I'm looking around her, she's got little pieces of purple flecks on the back of her, like little purple freckles. I just, I adore this so, so much. But, okay, 
back to Kitty and Bright Eyes here for a minute so I can give you a little bit more details on if you want to grab one of these yourself. I asked Kitty what her most popular item was and she said it was a doll named Ayoka. Uh, I hope I said that right. And that means bringer of peace and it was a Cherokee inspired repaint. And then I asked her, okay, most popular, but what's your favorite creation? And her favorite creation is Zara, or Zara, not sure which way that's pronounced. And that is an orc-inspired doll. And then her second favorite thing is her personal inner demon sister, 1.1 Home. And then she had a third one, and it is a bulwark creature named Wyatt. And that's an original idea of upcycling old plush toys. So I think that's awesome. I asked her if she did custom orders, and she says she doesn't. She tends to shy away from them because she just kind of does things as she's inspired, and she doesn't like being felt rushed or on a timeline, and she doesn't want to make the customer unhappy if she cannot completely fulfill the customer's vision, which I totally get. That's totally rad and awesome but you know what you don't need custom orders with her because she just has the best creative mind and I love it. Prices on her Grogu dolls start at $135 and can go all the way up to $500 depending on what you get. But the good thing about her items when you buy them, guys, she puts the money that she makes on these either back into making the dolls or it goes to her animal sanctuary. So if you're buying one of her items, you are helping those animals out. You're helping to feed them, you're helping with healthcare, you're helping with boarding, and everything else it takes to care for these animals. And she does have some that are special needs. So yeah, every little bit helps. She doesn't like asking for donations, but if she can sell some art, what better way than that? Unfortunately, she does not ship internationally, guys. She is only shipping here in the U.S. right now. You know, that could change in the future. I never say never, but right now she just ships domestically. But if you want to check out her work, I mentioned she has an Etsy shop, so you can check her out there. Or she has a Facebook page and an Instagram account, so check those out as well. All links will be in the description of the video. And as the note said, she now has a YouTube channel, so I will definitely be checking that out and find out that information for you as well. I can't wait to see what's on their channel. That's really, really super cool. I hope the animals are on there. Yeah, art and animals, that would be totally, totally killer. So guys, what do you think of Bright Eyes' art? I love it. Again, totally, totally rad. Beyond totally rad, guys. This doll is just, uh, and she is, she's got the original body. She's just got some little repaint stuff done on her. And of course, again, her modified robe, her beadwork, her little necklace and beadwork. It's just, ah. Uh, Oh, so precious and cute. I love it. And what are you guys thinking of these female artist videos? Let me know in the comments below because we've got a bunch more to come, especially this week, so stay tuned. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say. Besides, she needs a name. <laughs> we'll see you later.